So we'll just come up into dog again from there. So we're back into cat and to cow. We're finding cat in a hand, in a foot, in a knee. And we're breathing up through the front of you and out through the back of you, through the back of the throat, back of the shoulders, back of the ribs, back of the waist, back of the pelvis. Meeting that space up behind you, meeting here with the breath and with the body. On the next out breath, rolling back over your soft legs, so knees are bent, and we've got the hands on the ground, feeling the ground support through our arms, back into the spine, and we'll find inner, inner foot, inner hand. So just rolling onto the inner foot, onto the inner hand. You're not pushing the ground away, you're, you're feeling through the ground, you're feeling support coming up, back up through your bones. So inner foot, as if you're touching from the outer thigh, that spiraling inward feeling, and then we'll spiral outward, get that broadening out through your wrists, through your ankles. Inner foot stays on the ground. You're not rolling off in a big kind of motion. You've got inner foot on the ground, rolling out the outer foot. And then we'll take a breath and we'll let the heel start to come down with this feeling that we've used recently of looking up through the centre of the foot, but you're, you've got an eye looking up through the centre of the foot as the heel starts to come down and that will give you this drawing up through the belly feeling and um, a kind of lightness but intenseness in the body. Take a breath from there and breathe out through the fingers, out through the toes, equal measure of breathing and lengthening out through fingers and toes so that the legs open up into the space behind you. Then we'll just ease the feet back, swing or hands forward, swing forward into plank, arms resting into the space behind them. Release the knees down, release the feet out, and you're drawing the feet up, like you're trying to drag them up the mat. Let that response come up through the legs, up through the pelvis, all the way up through the spine, releasing the head back. We're not arcing, arching the head back, not very nice on the neck. We're just feeling the spine release the head so that the head feels easy and the arms are have this feeling of kind of um, meeting the space at the back of them. And we'll then ease the hips back into child. Maybe let's take it to wide child. So you've got feet together, knees out wide and ease back into child. In child, we're not going to have the arms right out away from us. That's um, kind of put strain on the shoulders. We want to feel supported from the arms back into the shoulder sockets. We want to feel support from the shins all the way down to the toes into the lower back. So we're not collapsing the lower back. We feel maybe a little bit of inner foot, inner hand, and then outer foot, outer hand to make this position, not just a position of rest, but a position of support from the ground and um, a position of wholeness that you feel like you're coming into your centre. We'll take some breaths there, perhaps breathing into this area, the spine behind the heart. Breathing deep into there, pooling the liquid breath into there, and then releasing the liquid breath up the spine and out through the crown and down the spine and out through the tail. Just feeling the spine release as we do that. Uh, stay as long as you want to in that position, it's, it's very relaxing. Uh, then we'll push up and um, we'll come into a uh, maybe a seated sequence from there. So we'll start off with um, feet together, knees out wide, um, and you can either lean back or you can uh, rock forward, holding onto the feet and just rocking 
dropping itself forward. And then we'll send the legs away. Circle the feet, circle the hands, one way then the other. And then we could try circling the feet together. And then we're going to draw the right foot up the mat and step over the left leg. You can either leave the, the left leg straight or you can lean over to the left and draw the left leg behind you, easing back. And then hug the right leg in with the left arm. Um, and when I say hug, I don't mean like pull it in, just uh, hook the arm around it and rest the body back away from there. So you can relax the body back and you're feeling the pelvis on the ground equal touch down between left and right um, side of the pelvis and then we're going to reach up with the right arm and we're going to loosen out with this right ear so that we get this lovely bend in the neck this side opening up the vertebrae lifting up out of the waist but feeling the pelvis on the ground grounding through that right side take a breath in on the out breath, twist round to the right and perhaps looking over that right shoulder. When you're there, taking some deep breaths in on the out breath, grounding through the pelvis, maybe even getting this feeling of breathing up from the ground as if you were breathing up through the spine and breathing back down through the spine into the earth. And really making that a practice to see um, how much deeper you get into the posture with the breath. Breathing right up through the spine to breathe in and maybe all the way into the arms and then drain the breath out of the arms back down the spine and into the earth. And then we'll just let the spine unravel back to centre. We'll lean over to the left, release that left leg down, step over with the right leg and we'll do the same on the other side. So stepping over with the left leg, leaning over to the right and bringing that right leg behind, coming back to center and hooking that right arm around the leg. We'll then reach up and over with the left arm and reaching out of that left pelvis, feeling the left side of the pelvis on the ground leaning over with the head but not sort of flopping the head you're, you're active with that ear listening out with that left ear will help you support the head and, and open up the spine take a deep breath in on the out breath will twist round to the left and maybe look over that left shoulder if that's all right for your neck and then we'll breathe up from the ground from there so feel that equal connection down through each side of the pelvis Breathe up through the pelvis, up through the spine, into the arms and drain the breath back down the spine all the way into the earth. Feeling how that perhaps brings you a little bit deeper into the twist, but not doing the breath work and then forcing yourself into the twist. It's allowing the breath to, to do the twist for you. Feeling supported from the ground through that hand as well. You've got a little bit of a a kind of spider touch on the ground that you're getting something back from the fingers up into that shoulder socket. One more breath, breathing up from the ground and back into the ground. And then let the spine unravel you back to centre. Lean over to the right again, release that right leg. Feet together. Knees out wide and rocking. And I think we'll leave it there for today and we'll just wait Lola up to come and say hello. She's been lying on the sofa watching as we've been practicing. <laughs> She's really sleepy. I'll see you soon.